Hi guys and welcome. I'm Buddy1927 and we're playing Minecraft. And this is going to be part one of a series called Build a City. And I'm going to show you how I build a city in Minecraft. I used, um, when I was offline, I played a lot of Minecraft because I d couldn't get online and play the online click game. So I was playing Minecraft. And one of the things I would do is figure out where to build a city, or build a town, or a city, whatever you want to build. Um, so, first thing you need to do is collect, <coughs> and I did this on the way, there's six different types of trees. You got oak tree, birch tree, uh, dark oak tree, spruce. Jungle wood and acidic trees. And you want to try to collect them while you're out exploring. Luckily, I found all six, but the main ones you want to try to get at least is jungle wood, spruce, and dark oak. Um, oak and birch are the easiest ones to find. Next, you want to pick a location, and I'm in creative mode right now this so I can be so I can show you why I picked this location so I can fly okay we got plenty we got a desert here we got plenty of sand and as we fly over the desert and we need plenty of sand and you can find sandstone to help build buildings too in, in the desert but the reason why you want sand is so you you have an endless supply of sand for making glass next we're close to this clay foundation right here. So we we got an assortment of clay and red sand that we can choose from. We also got a pyramid over there. And we'll come back to where we started. We got cactus that we could harvest. Now the reason why I picked this location is because the sand you got the clays over there yes it's it's not too high I build I try to build my cities on sea level so all the dirt we clear from here can go in here to fill in fill in the swamp area so you can keep going out and building your city so we got a swamp so we can drain the swamp as President Trump would say but that's why I picked this area now since I've already harvested a couple trees one of the things I, I do initially is um, set up a, what I call base camp and I know if you watch my H1Z ones you know what I'm talking about base camp I'm going to switch game modes it's G wait a minute game mode zero and we're back to survival now I do have this setting when I'm building um I go to I go to options, then I set its difficulty to peaceful. So when it's nighttime, I don't have to worry about uh, the zombies and being attacked and all that. Cause I'm I'm in a in a building mode now. I can I can always at nighttime switch it. But we got some sheep here, There's some rabbits over in the desert. So we got we got. A, a ready supply of stuff here that we can go ahead and start building. Okay, the first thing I like to do is set up the base camp. Okay, and one of the things I'm going to do is place a chest there and this. Next thing I'm going to do is, nope, not charcoal. I'm going to build myself a, craft myself a crafting table and we're going to place we're going to place the crafting table here 
actually. Okay, we're going to open up this trunk. We're going to empty out what we got for right now. Uh, there we go. I, I did mine some mines. And I did find some other things in chests in the chest that I found. But what I'm going to do right now is just empty up my things. These are the trees I found. As I said, I got all six trees. As you can see, you got the birch, the oak saplings. The, I call it the acidic sapling. I got the jungle. I got spruce saplings, and I also got the dark oak sapling. I got octopus that we're going to end up doing. So what I'm going to do next is craft. Go to the crafting table. I'm going to craft. I'm going to be crafting some chests here. And remember, a chest is, is, yeah, a chest is a place to store. Okay, we just made four, so I'm going to put two of them together, and you got a, um, one chest. Two chests, it actually doubles the size of inventory that you can actually control. Now, I haven't played this since I've come back. Okay, what we need to do is find some stone. I need at least eight stones. Because the next thing I want to do is build a furnace. There you go. And since I found the diamonds, okay. Since I've already found diamonds, I can I have all my diamond equipment. Um, a sword for defense, a pickaxe to mine. A diamond axe to cut down trees and a diamond shovel to clear out and make oops I'm still getting used to replaying this I haven't played this since I gotten back online <laughs> and they changed some things here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place that there Okay, now I'm going to do some stuff here. I'm going to take this out. Take everything out except for the cobblestones. I'm basically going to just empty this stuff out. I'm going to build some more here. It doesn't really matter. But what I will do is set up the chest so I have one of cobblestone or stone right here, one of one for dirt, one for gems, uh, one for wood, and so on. And what I need to do is clear this whole area, start clearing out this area. And I'm gonna actually first thing I'm gonna build is a tree farm. For all six trees and the reason why once you set up your tree farm and you start that way you have re ready supply of wood <coughs> the next to the tree farm we're going to build a storage building and I'll show you how to do that in, in a couple of episodes but what we got to do is this basically set up everything since I'm going to have a lot of dirt, 
I'm just gonna put everything in here. Well, actually, uh, like I said, I'm still getting used to how to play this again. Nah, that's not enough. Okay. And you can't put you can't put chests you can't put three chests you gotta skip a space every time so this for right now I'm gonna put my trees here and my wood any wood I have for right now I'm just gonna put that there this one, I'm just going to put everything else. Okay, so I used to play H1Z1 that I have forgotten. I keep on trying to press. I keep on trying to press C to open up the chest. <laughs> And I'm not in H1Z1. It's just out of habit I'm doing this. Okay, we got our dirt and all this. So what I'm going to be basically doing is clearing out this whole section. And I'm going to kind of clear it out and square it off a little bit. It's raining. Yay, rain. Hello, you know, Mr. Sheep. How are you? Oh, Mr. Sheep doesn't want to talk to me now. But I'll be clearing off this whole section. Start clearing off this whole section and um, gathering my materials and putting them in the boxes. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. And since most of it's going to be dirt, I'm going to kind of square off. So you just want to clear the section. Off that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video because because you don't need need me to show you how to clear the land. But oh yeah, there is one thing I definitely want to tell you. I build everything on on ocean level. So, let me see. Yeah, there we go. So my level right now is I'm at level 63. So everything, my whole city, my base of my city is going to be on level 63 when we build. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Yeah, as you can see, I cleared the area. I filled in any stone, sand, gravel, anything that wasn't dirt I filled in with dirt um, so everything will eventually turn into green grass will turn into a grass area so what we're going to do <coughs> is we're, we're actually going to start building a tree farm and we're going to do things a little we're going to use cobblestone for our tree farm and the reason why we want a tree farm is that this way we got a, a way to plant and replant trees um, and have a continuous supply continuous supply of wood and since I got all six different types of wood We're going to plant six different types of wood. And wood's used a lot, you know, to make um, storage crates, buildings, stairs, everything. So what we're going to do first is I'm actually going to line up. Line up. Okay. 
And I'm actually going to start a path first. Then we're going to go ahead and do our... Our path is going to be too, too wide. I'll probably end up changing this any which way to something else. But... We're going to lay the cobblestones out. I might not have enough to do this. But I wanted the beginning of the path started so I, I know where to, where to start off with. And we can continue from there. Now remember that we're building a city, so this tree farm is actually going to be a park too, I guess is what you, what you can call it. And I'm just going to see what I can, how I can build this. So with this, okay, we got this area cleared off, and I'm going to. Well, actually, the way it, the way I'm going to do this is a little bit different than what probably most most of you have seen. So I'm actually going to clear this off and. Clear this out, and what I'm going to do is leave some dirt pads like this. So, <clears throat> so I can do some stuff here. If you ever feel like you're in the way. Okay, there we go. This is our first row. And I'm two. This will be two rows all the way across. Then there would be three rows in between the next stack of block, and we're going to fill this in. Okay, so it's four across, and it's going to be five deep. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Actually, let me just do this real quick. Okay. And for the second row, it's the same thing. Set the first one up. Okay. Now I'm not going to fill in the stones until I get everything set now. And 
we got two different types of trees. We got single trees and we got double trees. Now the double tree uh not four trees, I'm sorry. Quad trees is what I call them. And that that's your um jungle wood, your spruce, and your dark wood. By playing four uh, saplings together, you end up with a much bigger tree. And with the oak, osaic, and the birch tree, they're single trees. But technically the oak tree can also be used as a quad tree too. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this first tree thing up. Okay, the single trees are four across. And five deep. So I got, I got the four, four across done. Now I just got to carve out five. Let's see, one, two, three. This is four. Ah. Uh, pick up the dirt because we're going to need our dirt. Okay. And this will be the final row. This will be row number five. And instead of three here, I'm just going to go two. I find if you plant the trees three spaces apart from each other, they fully grow without growing into the other one or overshadowing the, the other tree. And the reason why it's important, this way you got a continuous, like again, you got a continuous uh, supply of wood and the different types of wood. So what, since I have all six types, I will have six different types, which will give me six different types of buildings supplies. If I want to use the bark of the tree, it gives me a totally different look. Each one has a different look. If I want to use the wood planks, it gives me a totally different look. Um, doors, there's six different types, there's actually seven. But out of the woods, there's six different types of doors. So it gives you more of a choice when you're building. Remember, we're building a city. We're not building a town or anything like that, so... This case was different variations on the buildings too. And doing this way, we're going to use a lot of cobblestones. And cobblestones are only stones that you picked up and as stone. The clear stuff is stone. The clear gray stuff is stone. The dark gray is granite. That's coal. And there's different types of stones, but we, but when you break up stone, it turns into cobblestone, and you can put the cobblestone into the fire, and it makes stone again. So, because once we set up our storage place, we'll have a mine, hence Minecraft.
we'll have a mine set up and we'll have a lot of stone or cobblestone that we can turn into plain old stone and we can make buildings out of stone make buildings out of cobblestones but for pathways walkways I'm currently using um, cobblestone okay we got one two yeah I should have cleared out this section right here let me just get this section right here And we got a lot of water, so we're going to be using a lot of dirt. But for right now... Okay. Now we're going to do a quad tree. Might have to clear out another section, I don't know. Okay, and it's two all the way around the perimeters, and then it's blocks of four, so that's one, two, three, four. And four in between. So, and we're going to do stack of nine so yeah I'm gonna have to clear out another section and clear out wide enough so that'd be okay that there for right now. I'm going to place and this is where we're going to be planting our jungle wood our Spruce. And our dark oak. Okay. Let me just clear this up real quick. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to dig out these areas that need to be dug out. And when we come back, I'll show you how I have everything set up. So I'll be right back. 
Okay guys, I cleared out the area and set up the farm. So what we're going to do now is plant. This is the dark oak sapling. Plant four of them together, just like that. And once I get more, I'll fill in these. So the quad, what I'm calling the quad trees, they're three across and three deep. So a total of nine squares. So we're going to go ahead and plant the spruce. And the jungle saplings. And you plant these four wide. Well, the um, dark oak has to be planted with four saplings. Now, the spruce and the jungle wood does not have to be planted, but when you plant them with four saplings, you get a taller tree and you actually get a higher yield than from the 20 trees if you planted 20 saplings. So basically you'll have nine trees growing in the quads and you'll have 20 trees growing in the singles. Now I don't have enough saplings to do everything. But I am going to do, I am going to plant what I have and when I cut down the trees again I'll collect samplings, more samplings and then once I get, and just fill this out as, it, as the trees grow. Now I am in survival mode playing this game and if you notice when, when I first got on I was at level 3 and now I'm at level 33 so I did clear this all in survival mode but there's one thing I, I did cheat um, this is the layout and as you can see the tall trees that's <sighs> you get a higher yield than if I planted 20 saplings compared to one of those t giant trees now I did cheat um, now the cobblestones that you see laid out for all the tree for all the different trees since we've got six trees we've got six sections um, the cobblestone I did harvest when I was clearing this and but the walkway between the trees and between these sections is actually brick stone that I got from um, I went into um, creative mode and I also you can see how it's laid out and to make it a little even to make it look a little bit better make it more one area I added um, this jungle wood um, yeah design here that actually has cocoa beans growing on it so this is now I've got cocoa beans growing because when you um when you do your jungle wood in this when when your jungle wood's growing like this it doesn't have doesn't grow cocoa beans and to reproduce your cocoa beans that you might have harvested, which I did harvest when I got, when I chopped down those trees and found a whole bunch of cocoa beans. <clears throat> the only way you can grow it is on jungle wood. So it's either every time you grow the tree you, trees, you're going to have to come back and grow, put them on the trees, or just take your jungle wood and do 
design like this. I just did this so it'd be a little bit more decorative because I am planning a city. You can walk underneath this. Unfortunately, you can't plant this, the seeds on the underside of this. But, you know, I, I planted enough seeds. You don't use cocoa beans that much. This is more decorative than anything else. The cocoa beans basically are used for making chocolate chip cookies and chocolate and brown dye. They you feed it to the sheep, it'll turn the sheep brown. So that's it. Now I am this is the layout. We picked the selection. We picked the section and I showed you why. So let me go back up here. And you can see how the farm is laid out. Because the um, 20 trees, the single wood, or the 20 trees are further apart, uh, they're five deep and four across, and the, um, what I call the quad, or the other three trees, the jungle wood, the um, spruce, and the dark wood is only nine, uh, has pads of four, and they're three deep and three across making total of nine this gives me a little bit of layout and this for this decorative thing because I'm trying to keep I remember I'm going to be building a city here so I gotta think of how this is going to lay out and as you build your city that's one of the things that you want to think of now I do have all the I do have saplings for all the wood, trees so I don't have enough to fill up everything but once I harvest the trees and get more samplings I can go ahead and go ahead and get more um, trees up and going so this way I have a selection of six different trees so in our in part two I am going to I am going to start building a storage building so we have a place to store all the stuff that we are we are um, going to gather from clearing uh, the trees that we harvest, the food that we harvest, everything that we harvest. We'll put it all in one gigantic storage building. And it's also going to have um, the portal for the Netherland, for the Netherworld too in there and a section keep the nether the netherworld um stuff too so the storage place is basically you're going to be your central hub is basically what it's going to be we'll put our we'll put a bed in there so if we die we respawn there and all that so i am doing something right now i am trying I have been trying to get on disability and it's been four years now trying to get on disability. I'm still waiting to go in front of a judge. And I have set up a GoFundMe page for me to start a business. I want to start breeding um, saltwater fish, primarily clownfish and also propagate corals and sell them online start a business doing this online so if you check out my GoFundMe link I would appreciate it if you check it out let me know if you like this video please like us on YouTube if you have any comments questions threats suggestions just leave them down below on my com down below in the comments page on this video um, follow me on Twitter Facebook player.me um, I do do live streams from time to time I haven't been been able to do them because of my illness right now um, but once I get up and going again I'll go ahead and start doing some live streams of different games that I do play so if you subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter follow me on 
follow me on my Facebook, follow me on player.me, and I'll tweet them out when I go live. And if you're subscribed to me, you get an email saying, hey, he's going live. But if you follow me on Twitter and you have it on your phone, you know I'm going live. You can rush to your computer and watch me watch me play games. Hey, why not? So, um, so make sure you follow me. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. That way you know when the latest videos that I do come out. I have a variety of games that I play, so I have a variety of different videos that I do. So check out my, uh, I do have them on, I, I have set up a player list, so check out the playlist on the different games that I do. So thank you for watching, have a great day.